Here's how to play Polar Opposites uh, by Moss Mouse. The stuff online that I've seen, the tabs in the videos, don't seem to be right. Um, the chords aren't right and the solos aren't right for the most part. So I watched some live videos and this is what he seems to be doing. Um, for the solos, I'm not as sure but of where he's playing it on the neck, but I'll show you how I play it. So the key is D major and for most of the song, you just do this. So it's a little D chord, it's only two notes. It's the fifth fret on the A string and the fourth fret on the D string. I'm using my finger as a pick right now, so I'm hitting just those two strings. And it's... You kind of push down and then you lift up to cut the sound out. So that's a D major without the fifth. Just This is the root and this is the third. And then you go to A5, this is a power chord, but only two notes of the power chord. So first finger here on the fifth fret, and then your ring finger on the seventh fret. So that's D. And then you do a little two note chord. This is a B minor. I'm putting my first finger here on two, and then hitting the open string. I'm just hitting it twice. So, so far it's D, A5, B minor, and then you go to G5, so it's 3 and 5. So the whole thing is like... And even when he goes into the chorus, that's all you keep playing. So like there's a lot more going on, so it sounds faster. Uh, I find if you're gonna try to sing along, like it's easier just to keep doing this. And this is what he does. In some of the live videos, it's kind of weird. He actually changes the rhythm kind of significantly, but in the recording, which is what I'm doing, you just keep doing that. And one thing I like to do is occasionally I'll go, I'll hit like these two notes, and I'll just lift up and hit open A and D. And then I'll hit the bottom two strings, and then I'll go to G5. So then the bass sounds like. And I don't think he's actually doing that. If you listen to the guitar, it just it's kind of boring throughout the whole song. It just keeps doing that. Um, that sounds kind of a cool way to change it up. So it's like you can palm mute it if you want. Or you can just kind of play it a little bit sloppy. That sort of sounds more like Moss Mouse style. Um, and then there's two little solos. So you go through and, and then the first one is... This is the ninth fret, so you sort of sl you can slide into it. The first time, so the first pattern is these two notes, nine and seven. You do this one, you do like this finger twice. Wait. Yeah, so this is like twice on here, then once on here. there and then you hit it a bunch of times you can kind of bend it then the next time is is different you slide to uh, the ninth fret and then you go to the seventh fret so you do like this is a really common feeling on guitar but then next time instead of twice you do it three times three times on this note so it's like so it was three times, and then three times. Actually, then two times, and then you go down. So it's like. And then you do uh, 
actually switch fingers so I can get back into this. So it's like one hit slow from. through that a whole bunch of time, more times, and then the second solo is a little easier, it's just... Actually, so then you're going... And then you go... And there's like a bass riff that I like to just play on guitar anyway, so it's... It's a... Uh, through it and then after you get then you go five five bar here back to five on that bottom string and then you go to seven on the a string you make like a little box and on two so it really slow fret. It doesn't really matter which finger right now. You slide up to here. So let me just play this bit actually. He's like bending it and then there's a lot of stuff going on so. like a really just this little box and then this note and uh, that's it so it's actually a pretty simple song and then the bass uh, and then it sounds like maybe there's a little bit more guitar layered in there and then the drums um, really adds a lot because if you just listen to the guitar part it's pretty simple so that's it if anyone has any questions let me know bye